hey guys it's master and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips and tricks to make your poco experience better the first thing i want to share with you is called the control center so the control sensor comes with a miui 12 but on the poco it's not automatically activated so you need to activate it so first thing you need to go to to, to settings and you need to go into display and here it says control center notification shade so click on that and you just need to toggle on the use new control center and that's it so you've got the new control center so the left side is for notification panel and the right side is for your settings and control center so you can adjust your brightness and you have more settings to enable bluetooth dark mode do not disturb and other things so that's it number two would be the full screen display so you can have full screen display without the buttons all you need to do is go to settings again and you go to display scroll down to the end and click on full screen display here and you can click on full screen display you can learn how to use this so if you swipe to the middle quickly, it's to close the application. If you swipe to the center, it's to get to and swipe from the edge. Swipe from the edge also. And you are done. And okay, that's it. Number three would be the frame rate tool. So you can monitor your frame rate to see that when you're using applications or you're playing games and you want to check the frame rate you are running at. You have a tool inbuilt in the app for that. So now go into settings. First, you need to be a developer, so you can go to about phone and just tap on this four times. It turns so you're a developer. I'm already a developer, so I just need to go back and I'll go down to additional settings and here. I need to scroll down to developer options and then just scroll all the way down to where it says power monitor and I can start the frame rate too so now you can see I'm running to 120 frames per second bring this down for a second Okay, I'm just going to end this back into settings and let's move into display and let's say adjust this to 60 hertz. You can see it's now 60 hertz. Oh, let's put it back to 120 hertz. And this is the next thing I want to share with you. It's adjusting the frame rate to save your battery. So you need to go into settings and display and just click on refresh rate and now put it on 60 hertz and with 60 hertz you can save your battery 120 hertz is a better quality but it definitely zaps your battery so you want to keep it at 60 hertz when you don't have a lot of battery okay so i'm going to return this to 120 hertz and now the next thing i want to share with you is called floating windows or now for instance you have this and let's go back You just long press here and you click on this and you have the window floating. If you want to make it full screen again, you just need to pull it out. Or if you want to move it, just hold the top and you can move it around the screen. So it's practically floating. This is really useful if you want to do something and you want this screen to be open, but you don't want to use the split screen. So you can do this and I can run my file manager and have my this so the next thing i want to share with you is the live wallpaper so on the miui 12 you can use live wallpaper but on the poco it's not activated so first thing you need to have is the google live wallpaper application so you need to download that from the play store so you go into the play store and you download this app called google wallpaper and i already have that so i would just 
get that and then I need to get the APK for the wallpaper I want so I have downloaded that too I have it and I'm just gonna install this last one which I did not install previously so after installing you just need to go into the wallpaper application so click on that and then scroll down to the end where it says live wallpaper click on that and you can basically select so i'm just gonna select uh, this one it's a bit dark so let's go back and select the bright one okay so i'm gonna set let's just use it for both um okay wallpaper set and I can check my log screen. Now I've got that animated look. Let's take a look at it again. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is the app lock. So you go into settings. And go to apps. And click on app lock. And once you just turn it on, you can choose your pattern. So I'm just going to choose one basic one. Let's do that again. And then you have to log into your MIUI account. Cancel fingerprint. So I need to verify my fingerprint. And that's done. So I can choose what apps I want to lock. So let's see, I want to lock my contacts. And that's it. So contacts. And I need to put in my, so this way you can keep your application safe from any intruder with the password. So, okay. And the next one would be game Tubo. So this is very useful for people that play games. First, you need to go into settings. So settings, and you can just search for game Tubo. game to the ball okay I'll click on that and you can go into settings and enable game to ball so you have this a lot of options for games and you can go back here and add every other game you want to add so for instance I want to add I'll take this off I want to add NBA and successfully added Back now it appears in game tubo and let's just open it and see so on the side here you have the game tubo you can take screenshots videos and at the top you can see the frame rate you are running so it's basically shows you the GPU CPU and frame rate used takes a screenshot for you and that's it and also you can just record your gameplay you can also monitor your messages from here so it's very useful when you're playing game next thing is a very useful settings for showing the memory status so you come into settings and you need to go into home screen and click on home screen again and it says show memory status so now you have it activated and you can see at the top it shows your memory status so it's 2.3 gigabytes of 6 gig ram available so let's just clear on applications 
and check it again and now you can see it's 2.5 gig it will take a while to refresh but it's meant to increase the last and final thing i want to share with you is called dual apps so you click on settings and you need to go apps and you click on dual apps it's very useful if you want to have two different applications that you don't you want to log in but you don't want them to have the same passwords for instance facebook or let's say for twitter and turn this on it's going to create two different apps and now if i go to my app drawer i can see i have two different twitter so you have the normal twitter and you have the new twitter if i click on this one it's just gonna set up and I need to log into my account so this is very useful for instance if I am managing a social media account and I don't want to make mistake to tweet for my private account I can create a dual app and log in here with a different password and username that is for this video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one peace